Hey everybody, and welcome to another episode of SBTDT. Today we're going to be talking about uh, an important safety feature that is required to go on the track. Actually, it's mandatory only to go racing, but uh, even when you go to a track day, it's not a bad idea to have all your bolts safety wired. What is safety wire? Well, safety wire, as the name says, it's a simple wire that basically grows through your bolts and makes sure that they don't become loose while you're riding your bike at uh, the limit. Keep in mind, uh, your bolts, they're not supposed to be over tightened. You should always look at the, te uh, the torque specs of your motorcycle and see how hard each bolt needs to be tightened before you tighten it. Over tightening a bolt can uh, strip the bolt or ultimately damage the part, maybe even bend it. There are some bolts that you would be surprised how light you have to tighten them and you have to trust what, enge what those engineers do. Just believe what they decided and if you have to just push with two fingers and that's tight enough, that's what you have to go for. But you know what? Just as a little peace of mind, we're gonna put safety wire on. And here you have my bike and you will see the safety wire in a moment. I'm gonna pick up the phone now so I can show you closely. This is my motorcycle. You see many videos from on board. And uh, as soon as you get close to it, you will notice that for instance, on the oil plug, I have the first safety wire. Actually, in this case, I have a safety clip. The safety clip allows the cap not to come loose while I'm riding. It's very important. If I'm leaning over, I definitely don't want oil to start spewing out of my bike. The second really important safety wire, and probably the most important, is the one on the bottom. As you can see, I have the drain plug that is safety wire, all together with the, all the little bolts that hold the oil filter plate under it. It's kind of hard to see, the phone has a hard time focusing, but you can see, I mean, there is the new silicon that has been just replaced recently. But this is really important and uh, it should be mandatory. Maybe we can try to see it from the other side. We're gonna be able to see it better. Yeah, slightly better. I mean, you can tell that the bolt has been drilled through. Actually, if you look in the front here, my brake calipers, brake calipers have all been safety wired. You can see this where there has been all uh, swirled together and he's holding on the bolt on, up top and on the bottom. And really important, the front axle. See the front axle bolt? I actually have been a little bit creative on it. I did the three holes, I went through the top, opened up in two wires, and then re, re squeezed it inside there. Let's say that I've been a little bit creative. It's weird, but it works. Maybe in here you can see better the one on the brake caliper. Keep in mind the brake calipers, they need to be tightened in, in this bike at 40 Newton meters. It's not that, that hard to tighten a bolt at 40 Newton meters at all. For instance, these bolts in here that they hold my, my steering stabilizer, they're, they're only 8 Newton meters. I'm telling you, the pressure of two fingers is going to do enough. Usually, I do have safety wire also in here while I'm riding. Due to transportation problems, while I transport the bike, I cannot have the wire going inside the axle. But normally I have a wire that holds these clips together and pushes it in. That's what holds my wheel in position. This is a single-sided swing arm, so this bolt holds all the power of the bike and all the effort that I put into it. I have safety wired also my rear bolts for the uh, chain adjuster. I don't know if you can see it in here. These bolts they're tightened at just 12 newton meters. It's very light as well. But this is not just the only safety that there is. There is something more than safety wire. Especially when you go to advanced group on motorcycles, they do require that you have a AMA approved belly pen or a belly pen that is capable of withholding five gallons, uh, not five gallons, five quarters of uh, fluid inside for the very simple reason that if you don't tighten correctly your drain plug they don't want you to just start pouring oil all over the, the racetrack i mean when there is oil on the track it's a mess a major mess because it's gonna take hours to get it cleaned up so if you have a belly pen that is capable of holding water or holding the oil inside 
that's a good thing. It's not gonna go on the track for other riders. Ultimately, it's gonna avoid your oil to go on your tires. Well, let me correct this. One time I was on the track and a guy simply forgot to tighten correctly his drain plug bolt. The result uh, was uh, really bad because uh, he filled up the oil while he had the belly pan on and uh, as he started riding he got to the first turn, leaned over the bike, the belly pan was full of oil. Basically he had, he had four quarts of oil coming out all at once and uh, well they got to his tire. It was a big ice side and it was also a big fireball. The fireball, uh, trust me, you don't want to be anywhere around. I was really close to it. Uh, I was about uh, 20 to 30 feet away and I could really feel the heat coming to me so safety wire that's a really important thing you will see in here I've done it also to my camera yeah I don't have the camera on my helmet the, uh, for safety purposes it's better to avoid to have a device hanging on the helmet since it could clip and snap your neck so I put it in there and I safety wired you never know I already lost one camera on the track I wouldn't want to lose another one so that's it i hope you guys will find uh, this information helpful and uh, i'll see you next time and be safe